This is one of my very old mobile phones. It's a Sony Ericsson W810i and it dates from around 2006. Uh, April to be precise was when it was released and it is uh, branded as a Walkman phone. Uh, one of the nice features on this is it actually has a music mode so you can still listen to music but not actually have the phone functions turned on for the likes of being on an aeroplane or, or, or in a hospital. So yeah, I used this phone for several years and yeah, it's still working perfectly. These were very, very popular little phone. Uh, some details on the phone itself. It has a 20 megabyte internal memory, but it supports a micro stick duo, a memory stick duo uh, memory card. Uh, officially up to a 4 gig card was supported, although reading about the internet, uh, people have reported the fusing up to 16 gig memory cards on these. Uh, it has Bluetooth 2, supports USB 2. The display is uh, 176 by 220 pixels. That's a TFT LCD uh, with 144 colors. It sports a 2 megapixel digital camera and it has a built in flash as you can see. It has a, a full function web browser but there's no Wi Fi on this um, so everything would have been accessed through uh, the WAP service. Um, as you can see, it's an old picture of my little daughter on the screen there. Um, yeah, th this uh, has been in the attic, been lying in a box in the attic for five or six years, probably since the last time I looked at it. And I uh, got it out, charged it up, and it's working perfectly. Battery still holds a charge. As you can see, it's uh, fully charged there. The SIM card I have in it at the minute is not active. This is on the uh, Orange network. I don't actually use Orange any longer. I'm on Vodafone now. And uh, as you can see my lovely black th fingernail there. I managed to close my thumb in the car door over Christmas. So yeah, it's going to be months before that's gone. <coughs> as you can see the screen is quite small on this and there's quite a lot of scratches. This little phone has been used and abused, but still refuses to die. Um, this is your uh, main desktop here. Let me turn this light out here. So we have uh, the Walkman feature, which is really the main one of the main selling parts on this was the the built-in Walkman. There's really not nothing on this at the minute. I'll just uh, play one of the sample tunes here. Let's see your, uh, the speakers there along the bottom. So by today's standards, the sound isn't great from this, but back 2006, uh, you know, it was considered to be a good uh, speaker on it. The sound through the, the headphones on this is pretty good. It does have a proprietary connector, so you need to use the provided uh, headphones that came with it, which are like little earbuds. On the... the top we have your on off button and an IR receiver. You have uh, your volume up and down and your camera button, your uh, charging and, and data jack at the bottom. You have the slot for the memory stick Pro Geo. I'm not actually sure what size is in this at the minute. 
have a quick look uh, 2 gig really just, just I don't have anything else in the house that takes those cards anymore used to have a PSP which take, took the same card but I have no other, no other use for them so that cards can just stay in there so going back to the the main screen here if we go back out and uh, go to menu so we have all the, the usual functions uh, internet services, games the Walkman messages, camera um, like I said it's a 2 megapixel camera um, it doesn't take great pictures, I'll put up a sample here of the photos We uh, also have a file manager, your contacts, a built-in radio. Um, yep, you need to have your headphones connected for the radio to work. Your settings, organizer, and calls. So have a quick look in the games here and see if there's anything in it. Uh, a video DJ, music DJ, photo DJ. Sound recorder. Um, there's a few games on there. There's an Assassin's Creed game. A JC Dawes Texas, I remember that. Quadrapop, which is like a puzzly type thing. Rayman, Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope look at Sonic the Hedgehog. A little Java Pard game. Press 5 There we go, it's more like it Bit of a jump Ok, but number 2 key is the jump We so have music but no sound effects It seems to run nice and smoothly I couldn't find any info on what processor this runs on. So, uh, there's no point in guessing really. Oops. <laughs> Go on, get around there, yo -ho. Okay, in the first level. Yeah, seems to seems to play fine on that. Um, although the screen is tiny, it does look quite nice to the eye. Uh, see how we quit out of this now. Back to title. So yeah. It, the games that are on it, you know, run fine. Basically, they're they're designed for this sort of class of phone. Uh, Sony Ericsson, and it brings up Sony Ericsson. Okay, whatever. Uh, if I go, con failure. Okay, whatever. Back, please. Uh, video DJ and photo DJ, music DJ are sort of like, if I remember right, they're like a, you can set up like a slideshow or a bit of, bit of uh, video editing. I don't think it's anything too impressive really. Uh, I'll figure out what the buttons are on this. Uh, anything else? We'll see. Well, the internet service won't work because it, the, uh, the, the SIM card that's in it is inactive picture gallery, photo gallery, settings try picture gallery yeah it's trying to connect to the web service 
So we can't do anything in there basically. Go back out. Um, what else have we got? Oh, try our file manager. Uh, there's a couple of sample pictures in here. Basically just wallpapers. See this green absolutely tiny on this thing, so they do look quite nice, the pictures do look quite nice to the eye, but you know, but when you transfer them to the computer, they're really nothing to write home about. And there's an old picture of my son there with a fancy hat on. <laughs> So I will uh, put these pictures into the video, I'll embed them into the video so you can see them in all their pixelated glory. I don't think really there's much else that I can show you here. Just This is what we had back in 2006. This was considered a good phone back then. How times have changed. If I compare the size of this phone to my current phone, which is a, a Galaxy 3, <laughs> I can't even get it into the shot. Yeah, uh, a bit of a size difference there in the screen. The, uh, the my most modern phones now, basically the whole phone is the screen. So yeah, bit of a bit of a difference there. But one thing that has to be said about this phone. You charge it up and you don't need to charge it again for about a fortnight even through you know uh, a lot of use um, it would make a nice little sort of mp3 player this um, you know you just put it into phone mode you don't even need a sim card on it I put it into music mode sorry I put it into music mode you could just stick it in your pocket and the only thing letting it down is having to use the proprietary uh, headphones which aren't the most comfortable earbuds, they're a hard plastic type. So yeah, there's not really much else to show you here. Just a little blast from the past. This is uh, one of my older phones from 2006. So something a bit different for you today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye for now.